In a few short weeks, many athletes from around the world will meet for 18 days in Sochi to compete for an Olympic gold medal. Many of you will probably watch the hockey, the snowboarding, and the figure skating events. But what about those events you probably won't watch? We introduce you to the world of Nordic Combined, Curling, and Skeleton. We start off with the Nordic Combine. This multi-sport event is made up of two different types of skiing. In the first segment, athletes compete to achieve the highest score based on both distance and style in a downhill jump at speeds close to 100 kilometers per hour. In the second half of the event, those who scored the most points are given an advantage by starting a 10 kilometer cross-country ski race proportionally ahead of the rest of the competition. The first Olympian to cross the finish line wins gold. The sport of curling is much more than meets the eye. The reason why most Americans don't understand this unique sport is the same reason why most Europeans probably don't understand NASCAR. The objective of this sport is for someone to push a stone as close to the center of the bullseye as possible, while two sweepers attempt to influence the trajectory of the stone's motion using brooms. The brooms can speed up, slow down, or change the direction of the stone. Points are awarded for how close the stone is to the center of the bullseye. The team with the most points wins. We end with the third and probably most exciting sport, the skeleton. In the skeleton event, competitors slide down a track of ice all while staying positioned head first and traveling up to speeds of 150 kilometers per hour. In recent years, this event has experienced an upswing in popularity due to its high speed, action packed essence. People first got the idea for this sport when they took the top off of a bobsled, turning a four person high speed sport into a one person rapid fire rush. The key lies at the start with the dash. They must put everything into the accelerating push-off. Once up to speed, the scariest part of the ride is the fact that there are no brakes on the sled. Competitors who attempt to slow down during the race are disqualified. The fastest time wins. Whether they win gold, silver, or bronze, we hope that you cheer on the American team to victory. And as always, I'm Patrick Hanavan. Back to you at the desk.